I'm Emma and I'll show you how you can add transport to your raw materials and in this way model transport more efficiently. This is a really important concept to know because of course you can model your transport for each material separately from the material but adding it and linking it to the material will save you a lot of time. So I'm going to show you what I mean now and show you why that is a good idea. If you don't know anything about transport yet we have a lot more starter type videos for that so I would suggest you check those out. So here we have this model and we have all these different items and raw materials and you also see that I've already added the transport but what you also see is that the transport for the plastic film wrapping and the recycled PE fabric white are separate items from the raw material but I'm actually using these items also in other products and now what I need to do is add the transport separately to each product that is using these items. So that can be a lot of work, especially if you have a lot of materials and a lot of products. How can I change that? Well, the most convenient way to model transport is by adding it into the raw material item. So how I can do that is by just clicking on the plus and adding the transport for this material like this. And of course now we're double counting, so we have to delete this one. And now we're going to do the same thing for the fabric. Like this. And now you see that our transport is inside the plastic film wrapping item. We also have to remove this one, otherwise we're also double counting. And now you see that the transport is part of this item. And why is that nice? Well, we also have a lot of other products that are using the same recycled PE fabric. So let's find some. So for example, this other kids t-shirt is also using this fabric. And what's really nice is that now, because I added this transport into the item, the kids t-shirt is also automatically including transport. So I don't need to think about that anymore. So this saves you a lot of hassle of modeling transports. So in this video, I've shown you why it can be very efficient to add your transport into the raw materials item that you have. In other videos, we also have way more information about transport and how to model it. And we also have a lot of resources available on our website, so you can always check that out. Or check out our academy. And good luck with doing your own LCAs.